Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Code 43 and I'm here to give you the month of July, your 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. Please do come right on in and join us. You're always welcome here. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much victory, harmony, love, happiness, peace, luck, all that good stuff. Welcome, welcome back. I do appreciate every one of you. You guys are awesome and I appreciate you guys coming back time and time again to watch the readings on my channel. You guys make me happy and I appreciate all of you. If you are a cross watcher, please do come right on in and join us as well. You're always welcome here as well. You know, we love everybody, so you're welcome. I'm sending you prayers, blessings, and healing to you and to all of us, okay? When it comes to tarot card readings and oracle card readings, remember that it's all about the energy and the messages. Please take the messages that resonate. Leave any information that does not always go to our Heavenly Father God, your beautiful angels, your incredible spiritual teams, and listen to your instincts. Listen to your inner truth and do what you guys feel is best to make the best decisions for you in your life, okay? Everything in this reading will be read in the upright. So if any cards are flipped upside down, I'm going to flip it and read it in the right, okay? Unless guided otherwise by spirit to do otherwise. And at that time, I would let you guys know. All the decks I'm using are listed in the description box below. I'm excited to use a new deck. So we're going to start off with the new deck and open your reading. And this is by, let's see, I think it's the Midnight Oracle Shop. Yes. And I believe it's called the Manifestation Oracle Deck. But only thing about this, there was, um, that title was in the description, but she had other, he or she, I don't know, I don't know who it is, but from the Midnight Oracle Shop, they had other titles along with this deck. I think this person has many decks, I'm sure, because I, I have another deck by this um, same, you know, person. So, and I, I love it. So, and I love this deck specifically because the messages are very inspiring, very uplifting, and there's affirmations, which I love. So let's jump into your reading, Sagittarius. You guys have share. I love that this message is here. We all know that sharing is caring. We are all here to help one another. And your message reads as follows. It says, share what you know and give valuable insights. When we help others, we all win. Giving is powerful attraction magic. Your affirmation is this. Say it with me. What I share brings me more than ever. I do believe when you give, you will receive. God sees all the good deeds that you guys do. Some of you are being called to do more charitable work, humanitarian work. And it's not just about toys, clothes, and food. That's wonderful as well, money if you have it. But also you're sharing your time, sharing your experiences, sharing your knowledge to help somebody get through a difficult time or situation, sharing what you have learned, all of your beautiful lessons, writing a book, making sure that your kids and family members know about you know, how to break generational cycles and your struggles and how you overcame, you know, difficult challenges in life. Share what you know so that other people can be empowered and become stronger and not repeat past errors and mistakes so that we can all elevate as a world, okay, as a community. So this is beautiful, so just know sharing is caring. Share what you know, Sagittarius, you guys have a lot to bring to the table, okay? We can all inspire a nation. We can inspire a world. We all have something that we can share. So know that you're special, you're magical, and you know we all inspire people even when we don't realize it. So um, stay motivated, share what you what you can, and um, let's get to part two of your reading. Now I will use the Intuit Oracle card decks as seen here, the one I'm touching. This is by Kim Aria. I love this deck. As you guys know, I'm going to do the formation start of the C. And let's jump in. Please come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius for the month of July, your 2022. The first card represents you. The second card represents the change that you guys could see happening next. The third card represents what's going to trigger this change to happen next. The fourth card represents the action or guidance that you guys can take from spirit, of course, as you choose. You have free will. The fifth card represents what's happening with family members, co-workers, neighbors. It could be relatives, distant or close, near or far. Doesn't matter. It also could be you taking how it resonates. And the sixth card represents the outcome of the spread. All right. So let's see what's going on. I always start with the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius, as it represents the overall energy. And you guys have nine. Angel number nine is here. And I highly 
encourage all of you guys to just do a quick Google search on any numbers, all of them, if they resonate with you, or if you want to know extra messages from your beautiful angels, please feel free to look them up. Okay. All right. So you guys have angel number nine. I did see this in your um, pre-shuffle when I'm always like meditating over cards. A lot of cards jump out, messages come out, but um, sometimes they reoccur. Sometimes they don't, but this one actually is reoccurring. It's coming back out. So nine is here. This also represents the queen of swords. I feel like somebody wants to give you a beautiful gift. It could be roses. It could be flowers. It could be something that's very creative, could be handmade. It could be something that makes you smile, makes you happy. Somebody wants to give you a gift. Um, for others of you, this could be, you know, you guys given the gift, you guys can flip and reverse the roles as, um, as you see fit. But this is beautiful energy. Um, and like I was just talking about, you know, when you guys give, you shall receive, right? Well, anything that you guys have done good for others, been there for others, protected people, loved people, made other people happy. Well, Sagittarius, somebody wants to do the same for you. This could be a love interest as well. It doesn't have to be. Um, I do feel like for a lot of you, this is somebody from the past. Okay. For some of you guys, it could be somebody new, but I feel like this is an ex or somebody you used to deal with, somebody you don't anymore or um, somebody who went ghost or somebody you had a separation with. They want to reconcile with you and be open. They want to express their love to you. You guys have been really resilient with this person who left you behind or ghosted you, or it could have, like I said, just been a separation where somebody moved for a job or somebody just moved on, somebody dated somebody else. But for a lot of you, I'm getting X energy or somebody who hurt you energy, somebody who broke your heart and left you in pieces. Now they want to express warmth and show gratitude because in this time apart, they have realized all the wonderful things you've done for them and how you were there for them and how you care for them and you made them really happy. You help them tap into their creative side. Some of you taught this person how to love, but you guys have stayed resilient. Um, you guys are strong. You guys may have had to be an independent parent, a mother or father. You guys have to be strong on your own. Some of you guys are involved with court and um, a decision may be made by a feminine or, um, or by a woman even doesn't have to be it could just be feminine energy i'm getting that heavy but you guys have to be leaders either of the household or something like that somebody sees you as very determined somebody sees you as very strong business minded definitely a leader and i think you guys have learned to stand your ground put your interests first focus on you and that showed how you guys loved and cared for yourselves and the respect you have for yourselves and it's making other people it's forcing them to um, respect you as well it's making other people see you that you're very intelligent you're very driven Somebody sees that you hold your ground, you stand your ground, you guys are standing firm as you should. So stay resilient, but somebody definitely is coming back in to reconcile. So be ready for that. Just a heads up. They may come bearing gifts and watch of flowers and offer a date night, something like that. But it's up to you whether you accept or not. Exercise your free will. Use your discernment. Use what you have learned. Ask questions. Get to know people. Take it slow. Hear people out if you choose to. See where they're coming from. Ask about their intentions, okay? And what's been going on for them? Where have they been? And what happened? You know, dissect the situation if you choose. But um, somebody's definitely coming in from the past. Blast from the past. Here we go. Let's see what's representing you, Sagittarius. You guys have allow. So Spirit is saying trust divine timing. Some of you guys have been waiting for certain things to come through for you, opportunities, certain people. You guys had to learn the power of patience. It's not easy to be patient, right? We all want what we want right now. And sometimes it takes days, weeks, months, even years. But divine has been by your side, okay? So whatever you have been building, I do feel like it's going to start to take off. And I also get here that it's important that you guys stay powered up when it comes to your spiritual gifts and your connection to God and source. Make sure that you guys are staying in prayer. Make sure you guys are talking to God. And praying about your desires and your plans and what you want and your your goals ahead. And definitely, you know, communicate with the other side. Even your loved ones who are in heaven, your family members, your friends. Talk to your ancestors and find out about your lineage and, you know, find out about your family. Okay, the past. All right, but trust divine timing. Things will happen when it's supposed to. Some of you guys will be privy to Akasha Records past lives, things that um, you need to know to help you navigate through life. So 
be ready for some kind of download coming in from spirit because this is the element of spirit this is a very spiritual card and it's representing you so some of you guys may be spiritually gifted and maybe you never knew this or your gifts are going to enhance at this time in advance spirit is advancing you forward so that you guys can tap in to your psychic powers and gifts on a higher level you guys will be able to read people better and understand people a lot faster and quicker and that's good it's going to help you make good decisions for your life what you guys will see coming in next i love it the wheel of fortune this is definitely a spiritual card as well this is about things being out of your hands this is about clairvoyance as well so a lot of you guys will be finding out that you're very clairvoyant. You guys can see the past, present, or future and be able to tap in. So I'm seeing people turn into um, tarot card readers. Some of you guys will be using pendulums. Some of you guys will be palm readers. Um, you guys will use oracle tarot cards. Some of you guys won't need any of that. You guys will just be able to just tap in right off the head space. And that's beautiful too. It's your destiny. These synchronicities are coming in for a reason. These omens, these numbers, write them down, Google them, look them up. Get a reading if you want. Talk to psychics and tarot card readers. You guys are in a totally new cycle with this two here. Um, this is fate. You know, this is good karma. And with Will of Fortune being here, luck is on your side. So something is coming in for you guys. An advance uh, mint of money, some kind of gift is coming in. You're going to get what you deserve, okay? There's something you guys are destined for, and it looks really good. So thank God for everything that you have, and be appreciative of everything that is going to come in. Just continue to show gratitude. Spirit is bringing you what you need and what you deserve. And just be ready to receive with open arms because you deserve whatever goodness is coming in. That's a blessing coming in. That's beautiful. I love it. Pay attention to synchronicities, signs, epiphanies, omens, all of it. You guys are spiritually gifted. Utilize it to the best of your ability. What's going to trigger this change? You guys have the clock. Wow, you guys have a lot of information about fate and divine timing okay angel number 19 is here it says perfect timing this is the time for like i was saying something that you guys want to pursue this is the time to pursue it and for it to take off whatever it is if it's a business ideal proposal advent some kind of adventure i'm hearing also um creative endeavor if you guys want to start a business entrepreneurship looking into a new course a new field of study a new field of work a change in plans a change in career um a new relationship, a new partnership, whatever it is that you guys are doing, this is the time. Okay. Spirit sees you as unstoppable. They're going to drive, you know, they're going to be the driving force so that you guys seek victory and success. Okay. They're driving the boat, they're driving the ship or they're steering the boat. Okay. Just culminate. That's what I'm hearing. Be at your best. Okay. Put your all into it. Okay. You can do it do an amazing job be outstanding okay whatever it is you guys are working on it's about to stand the test of time so there's nothing to it but to do it get to it all right it looks really good it looks i'm hearing fruitful it looks fruitful so it's gonna produce something wonderful you full for you prosperity and longevity good things for you your advice from spirit you guys have the lion spirit lion is here angel number 15 this is an a so take pride in your work you guys have overcome a lot of difficulties and challenges in life. A lot of people took aim at your self-esteem, but it's like spirit is granting you authority over a lot of things, over some money, over, you know, power over other people, meaning you may have a high position at work. You guys could be getting a job promotion. I feel like you guys will see more money. It's time for you guys to get justice, you know, to be treated fairly and equally and continue to be heart centered, continue to love people and care about people and care about the world from your heart and soul. Don't let people take that from you. Don't become downhearted and bitter and cold against people who love you and who are good to you. Be good to those who, who are good to you, okay? Majestic energy is coming in here. The, your strength is coming through. This is like um, rebuilding your self-esteem and knowing your worth, okay? Knowing that you are powerful, you are mighty, you are loved, you are strong and courageous like this lion here, okay? You guys could be tapping into Leo energy, and Leos are very strong. They're very generous. So keep giving because you're going to keep getting as well. And just know that you can overcome anything, any challenge, any difficulty. Everything that you've been through was a part of your spiritual training so that you guys can be better, so that you guys can rise again and teach other people how to do it, so that you guys can 
find your power and have that self-discovery and know your worth and still be passionate about life and be unstoppable, unbreakable, and be here to make major changes and still stand the test of time no matter what has happened, no matter how many haters and naysayers and all these people who tried to pull you down, you still chose to rise above and rise from the ashes and still be amazing, magnificent, and great. Okay, focus on the greatness of who you are. Focus on what you're building and what you stand for. Remember, we're all here to serve God. Continue to do that honorably. Okay, you are strong. You guys could have Leo in your chart or you guys could be coming into a partnership with a Leo or a Leo could be a helper or somebody in your life who challenged the status quo. This person, you know, played by their own rules. They did their own thing. This person was a true survivor. Take that energy with you. Okay, the strength of resilience. Let's see what's happening with family members, friends, and coworkers, neighbors, and people around you. So, and this also could be you too as well. You guys have angel number three here, and this is the 10 of swords. And I love the ship being here because you guys are going places. Like I said, adventure. You guys have brilliant things to do, places to go. Some of you are going to hop in in your vehicle, and you're going to just take that drive and just get out there and just go with the wind. Some of you guys are going to literally get on a boat, take a cruise or move by water, but you're moving to happier, healthier, more peaceful, more fun times. Okay. Some of you guys will be moving or working overseas or with people from various places, various cultures. Okay. And that's really cool too. So travel could be in your future, but this is major movement. And this is because so many people stabbed you in the back and they hurt you with the 10 of swords being here and tens are about endings to start a new beginning. You're leaving behind toxic people, toxic traits, toxic habits, toxic behaviors, all that is being left behind, okay? You're changing for the better, to have better situations, better work relationships, better relationships when it comes to love. You're developing, you're growing, okay? This, this energy is about being honest and truthful with yourself and others about how you feel. I'm, I'm getting the energy that a lot of you guys went through a very um, complicated situation. It was very complex, but you had to release the drama, release the conflict and rise above it. Okay. You had to walk away and let it go so that you don't get stuck in the past and keep dwelling on it. So don't dwell on it. Just learn your lessons. If you have to write them down, but keep elevating, keep going. Okay. The truth can be shocking, but you're not going to stay in victimhood. You're going to get past it because like I said, you guys are going to embody the energy of being a true survivor, a true winner. And if this is not you, this is, you know, if this is not your situation, it could be happening to somebody around you, somebody, you know, encourage them to be resilient, to be bold, to be brave, to live again, to love again, to go after their dreams and pursue what brings them harmony into their life and peace. Okay. We all get heartbroken. We all go through various trials. But it's important that no matter what, we get up, we come up and we don't let it break us. We don't let it beat us. OK, we all go through that cycle and it's never fun and it's hurtful to deal with a narcissist or somebody who cheated on you or betrayed you and hurt you and left you and abandoned you. Their karma is coming. And believe me, they're going to have to deal with Father God and your spiritual teams. And they're, they're not going to be happy for how you were mistreated and you know, when people usually get their karma and it's bad karma, it's in fold. It's worse than what they've done to you. But it's always in God's divine timing. Sometimes it's at the end of their life. Sometimes it's the last day of their life. Sometimes it's every day of their life. But to lose you, to lose an awesome, amazing person is major, major pain, major karma within itself. Please don't ever forget that. Sometimes God show you what somebody's going through and sometimes you're spared that because they don't even want you near it. Okay. If God wants you to see it, you will, but just understand this What's shocking in the beginning will help you to gain more understanding. And you guys will eventually find relief in releasing toxic people out of your life, detox them out of your life. Sometimes you have to go away to isolate yourself for peace. Okay. For peace of mind. Okay, because they were in lack, leave them to their shame, leave them to their guilt, leave them to Father God and your spiritual teams. You keep going and doing what you're supposed to do. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear the outside noise, but it seems like I'm hearing a lot of like fire trucks and ambulances and people. I don't know what's going on out there, but um, prayers and blessings to all of them. 
But anyways, yeah, it's going to be a season of reaping. So make sure you guys have reaped a good harvest so that good blessings and prosperity and good deeds and good things come back to you guys. And that's the energy I'm feeling. You guys are moving on to better things, better times, better days. Okay. Beautiful. I love it. Okay. So Sagittarius, let's get the outcome of your spread. Like I said, you guys are moving on to better things. This is the sun angel number 31. This is the ace of pentacles, ace of pentacles. You guys more money, more money, more money, honey. Yes. So money is coming to you. Invest it wisely, spend it wisely, know how to save, know how to make good choices and decisions because everybody will have their hand out. They won't have their hand out if you don't tell them your business. In this world, it's important to be safe. The less people know about, you know, what you're doing with your money, how much money's coming in and what you're spending and what you're getting, the less they know, the best. The less people know, the best. Okay, you're not here to gloat. You're here to live. Your life to the best of your ability, serve God and be the best person you're supposed to be. If you guys had a question about something that you've been waiting for to come in, your answer is yes. This is very good and positive energy. You're going to feel fulfilled. You're going to be happy. You're going to be feeling successful and radiant. Divine masculine energy is here. You guys are going to be stepping up. Something really cool and awesome is going to happen in the daytime. Spend some time in the sun. Use sunscreen as a precaution. I'm sunburnt right now, <laughs> but I'm not burning. I'm okay. I'm peeling, but I'm okay. But I love the sun. I stayed out too long the other day and forgot to put on sunscreen. And it really wasn't that hot. But anyways, take precaution if you guys are going to the beach or to fairs, parks. Even if you're going to be out for a couple hours, put a little sunscreen on. So especially if you know that you burn easily. I totally forgot about all that because it's summertime and it's hotter than usual. But anyways, you guys will be seeing a victory. And that's beautiful. Happy news, warm days, experiencing fun times with your family. Spend as much time as you can with your family. Be playful, be childlike. Like I said, spend some time in, in the parks, uh, water parks, you know, whatever's safe, do it safe. But you're going to be feeling amazing, awesome energy, good things coming to you guys. Thank God for it. And just know money is on its way. Something is about to improve when it comes to your finances. Expect, you know, a generous bonus or a check from somewhere that maybe somebody owed you and you forgot about it or you didn't think you were going to get a certain promotion and it comes in or you know, more money's coming in. You guys have worked hard for it and you deserve it. And that's beautiful. So you guys have some wonderful gifts on the horizon, but I cannot stress this enough. Invest wisely, you know, look into stocks, look into property and ownership and things that make sense for you. Okay. And always stash for a rainy day because it does rain. You know, people may get a lot of money, but I'm telling you this, it can also go. I've seen it happen where people spent irresponsibly and it went so fast. It went faster than they got it. So maintain, you know, good money management habits. If you need to invest in a, you know, financial advisor and look into different banks and to different safes and different ways that you can make your money stretch work for you. And at the same time, live a very good and comfortable life, but money is on its way expectedly or unexpectedly. So expect the unexpected, but that's beautiful. Love that energy for you guys. So Love it. So it's going to make you happy to feel more secure, to be able to pay your bills, live more comfortably, enjoy more of the finer foods or, you know, a vacation where you've always wanted to go do something for yourself that's of luxury, but stay grounded at the same time. Stay level headed and, you know, stand, stand firm and always, you know, thank God, you know, stay a very wholesome, solid person at all times to the best of your ability. Okay, Sagittarius, let's close your reading out with messages from the Karmic Rewards deck. This is by the Oracle Mystique, the Avatar High Priestess. You guys had two messages come out. The first one was creating better, healthier habits and other people's jealousy are feeling, fueling your success. Yeah, it's like people didn't want you to have certain gifts, certain blessings, um, certain things, a home, blessings, a family, love, whatever it is that you guys have, good energy, spiritual gifts. Whether you tell these people or not, sometimes people can just feel when somebody's in a good place or they may hear through the grapevine that something good happened to you, that you bought a new car or you live in a little bit more fancy or you're going out on dates and somebody's loving you down, whatever it is, people can hear about things as it is, even when you don't say anything, but it's best to keep it on the hush to the best of your ability and just live your life. But, um, somebody is jealous of you. But it's only going to make you greater. It's only going to push you to keep being successful. 
you know, just say less to these people so that you don't sabotage so that, well, not, that, not just you don't sabotage, but so that they don't sabotage you because people will try to do it. You know, you have to be humble, maintain a humble energy, no matter what, and be careful who you surround yourself with. I always tell people vibe with your tribe. Sagittarius, you guys have creating better, healthier habits, absolutely eating better, being mindful, continue to learn, grow and develop. If you were a smoker, let it go. If you were drinking too heavy, let it go. If you need to eat better, you know this. Start to exercise and take care of your bodies so that your bodies can take care of you. And everything like that. Here's some kids outside having a good time. There's like pools all around me. But anyways, um, yeah, so people are jumping in and out of pools. But have some fun, splash, and create healthier habits so that, like I said, your body can take care of you so that you can live your longest, healthiest, happiest life that you can. You deserve that. And when you take care of the things and your body, your temple that God gave you, he sees that you value yourself. And that's an important thing to value. Okay. You are worthy of it. So know your worth, treat yourself good, be kind to yourself, keep loving yourself, always put God first, keep loving God and serving God and be happier, be healthier. It's okay to have your junk food here. And then of course we all will. We all do. It's summertime. We like our ice creams. We like our goodies and treats and it's okay to have it you know but um don't overindulge you know all the time you know balance is key you guys know this okay moderation is important all right take care of yourself and take care of your things more blessings will come in and that's another way to show gratitude to god by appreciating what you have and helping others loving others and loving the world and never ever stop loving yourself as well okay sagittarius this has been your reading for the month of July year 2022. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I want to say happy 4th of July for anybody who watched this um, video by that time. I hope that you guys enjoy, you know, corn and steaks and potatoes and whatever it is that you guys like, fireworks shows or just barbecues, having fun with your family. Whether you celebrate or not, have an awesome day, an awesome summer, an awesome July and enjoy with your family, friends enjoy you, you know, always enjoy you and make that me time for yourself because you are always important. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sending you guys so much love and light prayers and blessings. I am sending you so much abundance and prosperity and happiness, all that good stuff. God bless you. Bye Sagittarius.